Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the alternator on a 2001 Eurovan. Um, if you wanted to do an alternator replacement, I'm not replacing the alternator, but I have to take it off. Um, so it's part of one of the jaws, but I thought you guys might know. So I'll have this in a separate video. We're going to disconnect the battery and then we're going to go ahead and remove the belt and then take off the, um, the alternator. It's not that bad, um, but if you that's why you kind of figure out why am I putting back the alternator in place. Well, now you know why. Um, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. So we're going to go ahead and take off the negative cable right here. That's going to be a 10 millimeter. And we'll just wiggle this right out. Put that to the side. And then we're going to use our 15 millimeter wrench. We're going to go counterclockwise, pull it, and then we're just going to pull off the belt. We'll just leave that right there. All right, so here's the alternator right here. We're gonna go ahead and, there's these little tabs right here. We're just gonna go ahead and push. It's a little bit hard to get your finger right there, so you could just squeeze these both. That's how you squeeze them, and then they'll release. Then we'll go ahead and pop off this little cap that's right here. Then we're going to take off this 13 millimeter bolt. Okay, so that's an 8 millimeter bracket or a, um, 8 millimeter nut. Gonna move that to the side. Then we're gonna take off these three or just two um, 13 millimeter bolts. It should be ready to come off. We'll just get a pry bar, pry in between these two. Sucker's on there pretty tight. Just like that, and then we'll bring it out this way. I think we can. We'll move out this hose out the way. I get to tell you what I want you to put on. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put in our alternator. I'll just slide it right in here. So we're going to bring it up. We're going to bring it up through here.
we'll get our bolts and then thread them in by hand. The initial start and then we'll go ahead and impact them in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the power cable first. So. I don't know if you can see, but like right there, my finger's at. So this, we're gonna go ahead and bolt that down or start a little thread. And the same thing for the power cable. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect this connector. All right, pull back, make sure everything's good, and we are good. Alright, so we got the belt on, so this is how it should look. 